Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is minorities in uh, science, uh, mathematics, technology, and engineering. And I think the uh, uh, proper name is minorities in STEM. Uh, STEM. Is that right? Uh, and of course, we have with us our esteemed guest, the uh, Dean of the uh, College of Engineering and Technology and Computer Science at Tennessee State University, uh, Dr. Uh, Hargrove. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me uh, welcome you to the uh, show this morning, Dr. Hargrove, and tell you how delighted we are to have you and to uh, give you an opportunity to uh, tell our audience uh, about who you are, some information about your background, your education, and some of the uh, experiences that you had that eventually led you to the dean mm -hmm. of the uh, College of uh, Engineering, Technology, and Computer Science at uh, Tennessee State University and then we'll talk about uh, the issue today, and that is the lack of minorities in some of these major areas uh, dealing with uh, the kind of things that you do mm -hmm. in the uh, College of Engineering, and then we'll get on into uh, some other topics. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, thank you for the invitation to be here. Uh, I've always admired you, Dr. Haney. Uh, as, as you can recall, uh, I remember sitting in both of your history classes when I was a student at uh, Tennessee State University. So thank you for the, this invitation and an opportunity to talk about uh, the profession and this campaign of STEM education that is happening across the country. But first of all, uh, as you requested a little bit about myself, uh, uh, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, uh, I was trying to think about, you know, what, what college mm -hmm. I was interested in. And so uh, there were a number of co good colleges uh, around mm -hmm. the country. Uh, but uh, I, I recall vividly taking the ACT, mm -hmm. and, and, and I don't mind saying this publicly, mm -hmm. but I, I would have to say my ACT score wasn't the best. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, in very fact, good. Uh, mm -hmm. it was probably, mm -hmm. well, it was mm -hmm. in the teens, mm -hmm. I, I would say. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know, I looked around at some good schools, and, and I was accepted mm -hmm. by Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. And so I made a decision to come to TSU to mm -hmm. pursue uh, a degree in engineering or mechanical engineering uh, 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 when I, made, uh, I came here in the early 80s. And uh, it was, I have to tell you, Dr. Haney, it was a, an experience that uh, changed my life, literally. Uh, when, I, when I think of TSU and its ongoing mission uh, to literally transform students unequivocally. Mm -hmm. uh, TSU, that's, that's the impact it mm -hmm. had on me. Mm -hmm. And uh, came to TSU, major in mechanical engineering, and it was at that point, uh, in my junior year, I, I would say to you, uh, I knew I wanted to be a college professor yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and and there's a professor there even to this day uh, professor Y.Y. Y. Clark uh, may help make that major decision in my life and my career uh, to become a college professor mm -hmm. and so after graduating from Tennessee State yeah. University with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering uh, I went on to receive a master's degree mm -hmm. in engineering immediately after that uh, worked for a few years for General Electric and General Motors, mm -hmm. and then eventually came back and pursued a, the terminal degree, a mm -hmm. PhD in engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, I taught several years at uh, uh, Tuskegee University mm -hmm. in, uh, in Tuskegee, Alabama, mm -hmm. uh, another fine institution mm -hmm. as well, as you well know. Uh, served as an assistant professor of mechanical engineering there, and, uh, and also an, an assistant dean at the time as well. And uh, after that, I, I, I traveled to uh, Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland, serving as a department chair. And then uh, I, I, during that time, I did take a sabbatical, and I was very fortunate enough uh, to uh, become a Harvard fellow. Uh, so I, I took a sabbatical and spent a year at Harvard University. And, uh, and at the time, while I was at Morgan, uh, I got the call uh, mm -hmm. about this opportunity mm -hmm. to, uh, to consider becoming the dean of the College of Engineering, Technology, and Computer Science mm -hmm. at my alma mater. Mm -hmm. At so Tennessee State at University. At Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. And so I was elated 
and uh, went through the interview process and was very fortunate. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I say that humbly, mm -hmm. very fortunate uh, to be selected mm -hmm. and to serve in this capacity mm -hmm. as the Dean of the College of Engineering, Technology, and Computer Science, mm -hmm. the very same unit that produced me mm -hmm. uh, uh, as, as an 18-year-old mm -hmm. uh, going to college at mm -hmm. TSU. And of course, uh, 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 Dean, we're getting ready for our first commercial break, but that's exactly the information that we were looking for. Mm -hmm. And when we come back during the second segment, we can talk about uh, some of the challenges that you face uh, dealing with this whole issue of uh, minorities in these areas mm -hmm. and especially how you were able to overcome it and what are you doing now in terms of helping others to overcome it and we'll be back with our audience following this very very short commercial break.